Hello, people of the internet, I am Solrak Dragon, and welcome back to the Black King of Isaac Afterbirth. This time, we're going to be doing a challenge run. We unlocked quite a few challenges when we had done the Blue Baby all the way down to Shale, Darkness Falls, Suicide King, the Family Man. We're only one challenge away from having all of the base ones unlocked, so in order to try and unlock it, we're going to start in order with Darkness Falls. In this challenge, you start off as Eve, you have the Pentagram, um, Fear Shot of Dark Matter, Sack Dagger, and all the standard Eve items. Um, very interesting character to start out with, I will admit. Well, not really interesting, but Eve is a very versatile character, and the fact that Horde of Babylon for her, which she starts out with, activates at one heart instead of a half a heart for everybody else. So she is a great character to take deals with the devil on, if you choose to go that route with her. Which I probably will, she's one of the few characters I think that is viable to take deals with the devil on. Uh, Ragman is our boss here, probably take out his spider bros a little early. Of course he separates his head to create another. Um, I imagine that we could probably sack dagger his head though. I don't generally use Sack Dagger as an item, but in this case, it may be beneficial and we take the damage to Ferris into Horror Babylon State because our invincibility frames are apparently not that great. Okay, let's head out. No, Ragman, you're not gonna beat me here. Kill Ragman, there we go. Alright, we get Mom's Lipstick for a range upgrade and we also get an Eternal Heart here. We'll go ahead and take it, move on to the next floor. It'll give us one heart to start off with. So now all we need to do is take a half heart starting damage. And at three red hearts, we are more set up for um, taking some deals with the devil. Pride is our fight here. Unaffected by troll bombs because of course there is pride and joy. And pride can never be hurt by his own pride. And at least he's not too difficult of a boss to take down. We get the devil card out of him, which is nice. Um, we'll go ahead and see what this contains. It does contain a bomb and a spirit card. So what I'll do, I'll activate the razor blade. And pick up the spirit heart so that we have some protection for our last remaining hearts. Okay. <clears throat> uh, bloated fly, like how monstrous spawns them. Not too difficult to fight there. Really, there isn't much that sh you should be looking for on this run. I mean, when you've taken your deals with the devil, of course you're going to want some red heart canisters to bounce back with. And some spirit heart canisters will definitely help when you um, are out of red heart ones. But other than that, Eve has a fairly good damage combination going on here with Horror of Babylon and Pentagram. And Fear Shot. Fear Shot does give a very slight damage modifier. So, really, I guess some speed, range, flight would be great, I guess. Uh, Monstro is our fight here. I don't like relying on Sack Dagger, but I cannot deny its versatility. Alright, we get Magic Mush as our item here. I'm gonna wait on picking it up. Okay, we have two things in here. Goat's Head guarantees us future devil deals, and Contract from Below means that we will get double pickups, take both of them. It would lock us into Horror Babylon State if we didn't have Magic Mush here, which is another all stats upgrade. However, we can then go back in, play the Demon Beggar a little bit, since he will remain. Alright, and we get Ceremonial Robes for three Demon Hearts. Okay, I think I'm going to move on to the next floor now. We've got a fairly good damage stat, and we don't need to worry about red heart damage locking us out of our deals anymore, which is nice. So, and we're also going to get a deal on every floor regardless, so that's doubly nice. Um, the monster, or the ragman spiders here, hopefully didn't prove much of a challenge. Yara rune. So, Yara Rune was yara by the effects of, um, Contract from Below. That's kind of funny. Uh, 
more Ragman spiders. Took a bit of damage there. We're fine, though, in the long run. Heat, um, coins, and bombs. Along with the battery, if we had some, um, active spacebar item, that would be great. But we don't, so it's not. Spirit hearts, I would be glad to have double up for us. Um, Isaac Bob. Fairly simple fight tier. Powering through this now. We got a very good damage stat helping us along. And some bloated corpses are not a trouble. Rusted key we might as well take since we don't have any trinkets yet. In here, we have Cupula Duplex, which is interesting. And I do think I want. Or Diplopia, rather, because it gives us double items a single time. So, if we find ourselves with, like, a real good deal double, like the Pact in this one, we can double up. Or double the Familiars, possible as well. Alright, the Hollow Small Room. This is not ideal, I will admit. Alright, PJ's here. I'm gonna wait to see what I want to use Diplopia on. Um, I think I'll Diplopia the PJ's, actually. Yeah, double PJs, which means more spirit hearts than ever. It does not shrink us down a lot, however. And I guess we can go back for the razor blade now. So we've used our diplopia. Take it back. I know, I know, I'm generous to the razor blade. And we'll move on to the next floor. All right, Guppy's tail increases the chances of red of um, golden heart drops. My bad. And now Horror Babylon chooses to activate for us. We got a Demon Beggar here. Unfortunately, we cannot play you, so we'll kill you instead. That's how the cookie crumbles. And it does look like my play of diplopia ing PJs did pay off. Ouch, that should not have happened. Okay, there we go. Take them all down, take them down hard. Let's see if we can't get the red chest and what does it contain. Spirit Heart is fine. Another item room here. We have money, so we might as well give it a shot. Champion Blue Fly and the Nesting Spiders, I guess, is the best way I can describe them, considering they spawn the sex. And that is not our item, our shop. That is a double key room, so it is either a chest area or a reroll room. I'm not interested in either in particular. Ouch, I should not have been that close there. That was completely my fault. So we're not going to bother with the double key room. We only have two keys anyways. With 17 coins, the item, or the shop rather, is a better option. Doing good damage since we're one-shotting those guys. I am aware that we now have four um, keys, so the double key room is not as bad. But we got two golden chests here. One of which is Tammy's head. Which I do think is a better spacebar item for us. Lay down the bomb there. Um, Wiggle Worm or Rainbow Worm? I don't particularly care for either, to be honest. And wiggle Worm causes my shots to wiggle around, making them very much varied. I don't like that. And Rainbow Worm just causes a random worm effect. Which, again, I don't particularly care for. Okay, uh, I figured I'd give Tammy's head a shot there, see how it did. It did not really disappoint. With some more tier synergies, it will be an amazing space bar item. And it is a once a room one too, so that was good. Um, some more bombs and coins. And given the fact that we are only at one red heart, we don't really need the razor blade. So I'm not going to take it with me. Alright, check the item room. Humbling bundle is useless to us. Car battery, however, is not so useless because it will double activate Tammy's head. Then we can pick up that spirit heart that was in there. Range upgrade I will gladly take. And that other one was Humbling Bundle, which has the same effect as Contract from Below. But we've already taken Contract from Below and the two items do not stack, unfortunately. Um, I'm half tempted to do Tammy's head in here, but it's not really an effective room to use it on. This room is, however. Yeah, you can see the um, tiers were doubled up there. 
So, like with fruit cake, it would be a very cool item, but even now, it's still a very nice item. Okay, pop it again. Take out most of the enemies there in one go. And again, we can pretty much use it to almost one-shot everything. If we can manage to find um, brimstone, good lord, we will not be stopped by anything. Alright, super secret room is just red hearts. Alright, boss fight is us. Who falls before us fast? Alright, double deal is Krampus fight. Who is not really all too affected by the Tammy's head. Well, that's interesting. Um, we will go for that demon heart, though. Outside of that, though, I don't see taking that internal heart or stem cells as a good option. Okay, kill the turret here. Keys, coins, that, that. Pick it up. And then we'll put it down. That was a pretty cool effect there. But if we can get brimstone, then we'll have the same thing. So, we're going to ignore the health up because we don't really want it. And move on to the next floor. We're at Dank Depth 1. Stone chests are always worth it because potential for Steven. Instead, we get a card and a luck upgrade. Um, I think I'd rather have Rusty Key, to be honest. I don't really remember what Rusty Key does. But, um, yeah, I think Guppy's Tail will give me enough golden chest drops. Or red chest drops, whatever it gives. I know it gives some sort of chest drops. The card, however, is just the Hangman, which I'm not interested in right this minute. If we need it, though, we know where it is. Ouch. Kill it. There we go. Blood dries up. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and go for it. It might be worth it. And the money is a luck upgrade, which I'll take gladly. And then a one cent is trapped in the spikes, which I will not be going for. Because one penny is not worth risking a demon heart. Neither is a cursed room, really. Okay, done, done. Found our shop. There goes our spirit, our demon heart. Um, we can pick up a spirit heart at least. And I'll also take the ladder. I mean, we might get a flight item later on, but for now, the ladder could be beneficial to us. There's another spirit heart there, which I will save for after the um, curse room here. Okay, go on in. Red chests are pills and a troll bomb. Tears up is good. What makes you small is also good. All right. And let's go and grab that spirit heart now. As well as the money if we can manage. Which we can. Some careful maneuvering here. Oh, there goes that spirit heart we just gained. Um, brimstone babies. Or spiders, rather. Double golden chests. We get a spirit heart, and we get a key back. Alright. Key beggar, I'm not gonna play you. This is a double boss room here, so this will be interesting. We have the charge. Um, that was not as effective as I would like to have it. I, that was not as effective as I would have liked it to have been. There we go. My tongue is no longer scrambled or tied. Whatever you want to say. Gertie, Gertie, Gertie. Junior, Junior, Junior. You are nothing compared to me. Alright. Um, we'll head in here first. The pack. That is what I'm looking for, dogs. Now we just need a health upgrade. So we're back to some red hearts. Guppy's head as well. Um, sorry, Tammy's head. Guppy's head kind of trumps you. And then the pact. Alright. Or does it? Hmm. I'm gonna take Tammy's head. We only need a Guppy's head for the um, activation purposes. I can see forever. It's good. Telepills takes me out of there. Okay. And Tears upgrade is also good. Uh, I think I'll take probably. What happened to my um, Devil card? Ow! Darn it. Gotta be more careful, clearly. Yeah, what happened to my devil card? I could have swore I had one. Um, coin, that's not worth 
going for secret room at least. More pills. Range, Range down south. Vested? Vested is fine. Is that it? No, that's another hangman. I don't know what happened to my devil card. Hmm. Oh well, I guess um, we'll just move on to the next floor then. We have Tammy's head as our act item rather than guppies. My- ah. <clears throat> Again, I'm so fast, I'm being reckless here. Okay, ignore the key beggar, and move on to the next floor. Okay, now then. The pop I can see forever right in the beginning, I can so that we can get its benefits. Forever. Nothing in there worth. Um, pop that. Ouch. Stupid bomb fly. Uh, we got the charge back. I'm not gonna go in there just yet. I want some assurance of spirit hearts before I even consider it. Luckily, we don't really have to worry about um, these one gap ones anymore. We can just walk over them, even if it is a bit more awkward to do so than normal. Okay, kill them all. Good. Um, some more money means the item room is worth. I would really use a health upgrade so that I can take deals with the devil a little bit more securely. Um, no choice but to go into here. We got a golden chest, which could be interesting. It'll be both of our keys for it, but like I said, golden chests are interesting. And good. We didn't even need to use our key, though. I'm a dum dum. I don't know how that opened. <laughs> I still have one key, and that golden chest only had Bob's head in it. So that does not make sense. Interesting, very interesting. Uh, double golden chest contains a key. Head of the keeper is a good one. We cannot open that one, unfortunately. If we get another key, though, we will go back for it. I can see forever comes in handy here. And just keep on the, with the damage. Head of the keeper will help with that because I'm pretty sure it does provide a small damage boost. Our tears are shooting like a machine gun, which is always nice. And you should be in the last one right here. Good. Check out the secret room. Greed fight. So at least our shop will actually be a shop here. I gotta remember though that this is not an actual run. This is just a um, challenge run that is not going as far. And we'll go ahead and take that. It's only going to Satan. So I mean that is... Oh come on. That is fairly far but I don't think Boss Rush would be a um, good worth of time unless it's got a simply astounding item inside of it. Demon heart is good. Found our boss room here. So we can get mom's fight killed. Done and over with, rather. And here on the last one. Good. Mom, hello. And do a good chunk of damage to her there. Blue mom is gonna spawn the mobs more often. That's fine. Sack Dagger could generate us some good damage on her. Especially considering we don't take damage after she steps down. So, if we could get it off on her, that'd be great. If not, that's fine as well. Alright, Mom is dealt with. Take Pageant Boy, it's coins only. Luck upgrade is fine. Check in here. Just some red chests. Could still be a guppy item in one of them. Rolls, cursed eye, and a teleport. Okay, I was worried I had take. I was worried I had take the cursed eye there. Fruitcake. Um, Libra is tempting. Libra is very tempting there. Can we do it? I don't know, but it's worth the shot at least. So Libra balances out all of my stats. I might have suffered a lot of damage down from that, but. It means that any other setups I get will be on astonishing levels. So everything will go up equally now. Plus, I'm not really hurting still. Still doing good damage here. 
And we also cannot forget that we have Tammy's head, which we can use every wave. Larry and Duke Wise is fairly easy. At least, another easy wave is good. And the gurglings go down fast. Yeah, our damage has definitely taken a hit there. Though, I think it might have been one of our highest stats, which would explain it. Still, damage taking a hit for balance and everything else. I will gladly take that. Take out the turdling. Good. That guy went down fast. We should have probably saved it for infamy here, though. That's fine. Just hammer away at the heart. And the mask will soon follow. Where's the mask? There it is. Come on, mask. Stop running away. You can't hide your feelings from me! I wonder what's behind the mask, though, because it's a vaguely creaky little eye image. Come on. Two times damage we took from him. And Monstro 2 is definitely one that we're going to want to use our um, Tammy's head charge on. We don't want to waste it on Loki. Ouch. Monstro 2 took a lot there. At least. Demon Heart. Want to pick that up. Of course. And we want to take Monster 2 down before he brimstones us. Okay, Monster 2 went down. I again took unknown damage from an unknown source. Ouch. I thought I was far enough away, but I guess it's not. Um, Hollow and Polycephalus. Hollow will fall as it comes. Polycephalus, however, is a bit more troublesome. But Polycephalus falls as well. Um, Fistula and Girdlings. We hunt down the Girdlings first. Ouch, Creep. We forgot about Creep being damaging for me. Hence why I wanted to take out the Girdlings first, because they do some on Creep. And they do their little charge. And... One Girdling is all that is left. Two Girdlings are down. Fistula is down. Okay. Just be careful here. Headless Horseman. Uh, I wish I had known about him earlier. I would have saved Tammy's head for him. Um, I really wish I had some method of flight here. That would be nice. Ouch. Creep damage. Come on. Oh, we clutch avoided that. I'm very surprised that we did, actually. And good. Gish and Haunts. Um, Gish is a little bit more scary, I will admit, than the Haunts is. Ouch. That was completely unintentional damage on my part. Haunt is next. If we can keep it back with fear, then it's no problem at all. Famine and the host. Ouch. Host! Stop dealing damage to me, guys! Oh, I'm behind a rock. That's why I wasn't dealing damage to them. Ow! Again, item or enemy whose name I don't know who somehow managed to deal damage to me, surprisingly. And we gotta take this one down first, I think. Because lighted ovum is not really a big deal. Okay, only two more fetuses left, and end of that. Oh, shoot. I thought it was gasping like it was going to go into the next round. And we have friggin' um, Pete over there. Whatever his name is. Free bloat. There we go. He needs to die fast. Got to hop into his own filth. Cycle around the knife. Good. Getting better with the sacrificial dagger, I must admit. Oh, Forsaken Clutch avoided that damage there. Okay, probably rely on the Forsaken to brimstone my enemy for me. Or at least I should have, rather than take him out. But it's just the Dark One who, while dangerous, is less so than the adversary, at least. Um, the Stain, and I think I heard the 
10 rather, not D10. Pin Stainus down, and just, in fact, pin. Alright. Pin is not going to prove a match for us. Alright, here we have Brownie and... I don't remember your name, I'm sorry. Even though you did do damage to me. Frail, that's it. Take out Brownie first. Or, take out the Frail first, I guess. I was going to focus more on Brownie because he has more, um, over time damage. Potential. Now it's Brownie Dingle Mode. Oh, come on. That thing has way too much range. And we get Sagittarius as our reward, which is a penetrative shot. Guaranteed now. And a speed upgrade. And we'll take the coin, sure. Alright. Fight done. What's in here again? Nothing worth it. Next floor. Okay. Whew. Here we go. Scarred Woo. And that was quick. Good thing we took out the eye when we did. Um, I don't think I'm going to play the sacrificial chest. Because that is a little bit too dangerous for me. I don't really have a lot of health, surprisingly. Or maybe not so surprisingly. I did spend quite a bit of it in the um, boss rush there. A completely unnecessary thing to do, I might add. I just did it for giggles, pretty much. I mean, it was quite literally, completely, and totally unnecessary for me to do. All it was was two items, two Zodiac items. Neither of them were superbly superb. No. Anarchist Cookbook is not worth it. Even if it was the Bible, I don't think I would have taken it. Um, angels and wingless angels. Oh, careful there. Eve, you don't want to take some bad damage, do you? You make me sad. And just plow a path right through the middle. Spirit Heart is awesome. Normals are not. Plus, we get Dark Bumbles. And normal hearts are sweet, and I want all of them because Dark Bumble will pay me off with a lot of Spirit Hearts and Demon Hearts and the like. Okay. One mole is all that was left. Good. Two nickels. We had shops, I would be very happy about it. As is, we could still have beggars. Or, yeah, beggars, so... I mean, I'm gonna hold on to my... I'm not gonna count my fishes before they... I'm not gonna count my eggs before they hatch. I don't know where I was going with that. I think I got two metaphors mixed up in my head. Right? Another one bites the dust. And the headless moles, and I completely ignored you and charged right into you. Completely and totally my fault that was. Headless moles, two, one, done. Now it's just a head. It's risky, but I'm gonna check. Two keys. I was hoping for spirit hearts there. Uh, death. So we could get our flight here. And honestly, I think I would prefer flight to Tammy's head, at least. And death is done. Yeah, death has no chance. We don't even get death to get ball advantages. Lovely. Uh, rotten baby for three hearts? No. I need my hearts, unfortunately. If I had a red heart, I would have definitely done it. Because rotten baby is pretty good, but I didn't, so, you know. Um, actually, I will play the fortune machine. Because that can pay off with, um... It blowing up, apparently. Without even paying off in the way I wanted it to. I wanted some spear arts out of you, fortune machine. You let me down, man. You let me down. I'm so sad. Okay, Dingle goes down. He drops a spear heart for us and two golden keys. I don't really think that'll be useful to me, but thank you anyway, um, Dingle. Your contribution is appreciated, I guess. That's interesting. Head of the Keeper shots apparently occasionally have a concussive effect on the turrets. Very fascinating indeed. Okay, avoid that damage. Good. We could do the red challenge room, and we might, depending on what is inside of it. Chest-wise, at least. Single golden chest is not worth it. Cursed room. Golden chest flanked by spikes, I think I saw. Yep. So, yeah, not worth it. Again. 
because any damage we take on this from last four on is a whole heart's worth of damage. If we had Holy Mantle, then I'd be more considerate of it, but we don't, so yeah. Birdlings, thankfully they are feared very easily. Good. Self sack room, not worth it. We only have eight hearts to play with, so unless we got the seven spear heart thing, we would probably end up a net loss. Um, I can see forever. We'll save it for next floor, I think. Loki fight here. Go ahead, Loki, lay down your bomb flies. I'll shoot them right through you. So we've got penetrative shots now. Um I was just taking a gamble to see if we could have gotten into the first room without having to pay some health, but I don't think we can. Sad face. And good. Yeah. Um, hookworm is not worth some money, I suppose, is. We could actually still get into the cursed room down here. It's just a matter of placing the bomb right here. No. Okay, so we can't get in there then. Fair enough. Um, oh, careful there, Eve. Don't want to be charging over stuff willy-nilly now, do we? No. Oh, this room is a room. Thankfully, my damage is good enough that I don't have to really worry about it all too much. And meat boys again. I really need to come up with that hit parody song. Give me the meat boys and free mice and free their souls. And we found our boss fight, or rather our mom fight. So, take out mom here. Infamy is actually a pretty good one right now. Um, this could be our double secret room. We can try at least. Oh, hold on. Mom, I have come to challenge thee to a fight to the death. Your death. Come on. Yours. What, mother? And actually, it's it Liz now, too. Okay. So long as we're careful here, we don't even need to worry about the sack babies, because Mom will kill them herself. And we, of course, want to be careful with the brimstones, because we know she can stop it anytime she wants. The hush fight is available to us. No. Black powder for three demon hearts? Or spirit hearts? No. Let's just move on. I'm not even gonna attempt the hush fight. That is an optional fight that I will not even consider attempting in a challenge. Unless it is a god challenge, pretty much. And by god, I mean godlike. Okay, turret goes down that I was a little bit worried about. Haunts. Lil haunts, rather. Oh, careful there. There we go. Some more keys. Oh, those guys are a little... Those guys are not a little dangerous. They are a lot dangerous. I'm glad I took them down fast. Okay, keep on going on. Double low key. Ouch. That was probably very much avoidable. And I made it fool myself by blowing up the bomb fly by being so close. Okay, look, he's down, though. Alright, so I think... It's almost pretty much safe to say that this run is a success. We could go on to fight Satan right now, actually, pretty much. Not right now, but you get what I'm saying. Okay, take this guy out before he brimstones my face in. And, of course, we want to watch it for when they get that expression on their face. That expression, exactly. Oh! Darn, we ran right into it there. The only one to blame is ourself. And careful, careful, careful. There we go. Much dodge skills there. And he's down. Alright, we got some trolly troll bombs. I kind of want to keep exploring, though, just to see if I can't find some more spear hearts. If I do take a single heart worth of damage, though, I think I will just resign myself and go to fight Satan. We found our secret room at least, and we took our damage as well. So we'll take on the secret room here real quick, and then we'll go and fight Satan. How does that sound, people? Good? Good. Um, pill here is what makes you small. Go ahead and take it. Popping in here, just some bombs. Darn. 
was hoping for some spirit heart action, but promise is a promise. Let's go fight Satan. Okay. Lay the bomb down there, and it was a fail bomb. Of course, it was. Take out the fallen. Oh, I kind of wish we could have done it without it triggering brimstone at all, or taking any damage rather. Damn Okay, and one fallen little guy remains. Much avoidance skills there. And now it's Satan. And if we can get him while he brimstones with the sack dagger, that should that will actually do a lot of damage to him. Okay, ouch, that was completely and totally my fault there. I was not paying attention to the kamikaze fly. And we gotta be careful here. We can get it though, we can get Satan with Sack Dagger. But I don't think we're gonna need it because Satan has fallen. Alright, and that is the Darkness Falls challenge completed. Our reward is the Degas Room. Alright, well, I've been Solrak Dragon. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you have, leave me some feedback in the form of a like or a comment. If you guys want to check out some more videos by me, be sure to check out my channel below. And if you like what you see, drop me a subscription. Outside of all that, though, I will see you all in the next video. Have a fantastic day, everybody.